Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. Super excited to share this video as I walk around some vintage shops. While I was in Melbourne, I was taking the opportunity to go to as many op shops and vintage places as I could so that I could stock up for Willowbound Journals and for you know the junk journals I make and my personal journaling. Where I live in a small country town, there's like no shops <laughs> so I have to do most of my shopping for my business online so it's really nice to go to Melbourne and go to a physical shop and actually be able to buy things that I can hold and see and touch and yeah I thought I would take you with me through a couple of these places this one is called Butler's it is in a place called Olinda in the Danny Nogs in Melbourne and I actually shared a video last time I was down here I think that was maybe two years ago um, where I shared a little look at this shop and they always have new things though in stock each of the um, th this little stalls so it's not just one shop it is one shop but in the shop there's multiple stalls where of people dif selling different things so You've got all sorts of things. Some stores focus more on furniture, others on silverware, others maybe on teacups and saucers, others on jewellery, um, maybe others on books. And most of them really have a mixture of all different things. Just wanted to show you this pile of doilies that I found, embroidered linens. There's a whole big bunch of these if I could I would get the whole lot <laughs> um, but yeah just really really lovely I did manage to pick up quite a few doilies from various places while I was in Melbourne things I look for are things like this you know the vintage postcards vintage swap cards and playing cards I look for vintage books but I am now very very selective with the books I get when I first got into junk journals I would buy so many books just books of all types but now I am much more selective in what I choose this store was new and I absolutely love it it's got so much vintage French ephemera in there we've got vintage French envelopes and letters and postcards and so many goodies I got a few goodies from that shop from that store and this was such a good find out of everything I I'm always looking for vintage ledgers. It's my favorite type of paper to put into journals. This is like the pinnacle for me of what I'm looking for. And I, I'm always looking for them and I, I, I don't ever find them. And I was just so excited that finally I found one, a vintage legend. Look how many pages there are and there's different types, different styles. I especially love the one at the back. So excited to get my very first ledger. Yay. It's a big heavy chunky thing but I'm okay with that with the amount of pages oh so excited here's just a look at some of the vintage postcards in that French stall and I just pulled out a bunch so I could rummage through them and choose my favorite ones and aren't they just gorgeous we've got florals got the Eiffel Tower and yeah vintage French is my favorite theme and florals botanical that's my favorite theme for journals so these are quite special and yeah super excited to later on share a video of the goodies that I picked up while I was in Melbourne um, but yeah first wanted to just share with you a walk through some of the shops and so fun going to these places here I'm just showing you some other cabinets and some other stalls just to show you you know what they have my sister-in-law actually was the first person who got me into vintage I couldn't really care less about about vintage but even before I discovered junk journals my sister-in-law would take me to op shops and she had an eye for vintage she knew what she was looking for she knew what was authentic or not vintage or not what era things came from and all that kind of stuff and eventually it wore off on me and I started loving vintage from her and then when I got into junk journals, it kind of, I guess, found an outlet to go nuts <laughs> with vintage. And junk journals just made me fall even more in love with vintage. 
and now here I am at a different um, oh no hang on I think we're in the same place <laughs> I think we might still be in butlers but then I will switch over and show you a whole other place but it looks very similar um, because it's a stall shop as well where you have all different stalls um, and it was a place in Bendigo actually so I went on a holiday in a holiday for the first time um, I spent four days in Bendigo with some of my family and we went to Bendigo Pottery on our last day as we were traveling back we passed through Bendigo Pottery and then the Bendigo Pottery it had a little cafe and next to the cafe was this antique shop and I'm like okay I need to go into that antique shop I was expecting it to just be like this tiny little shop went in and it was stalls and stalls and stalls and stalls and I'm like my goodness we just found Hunted in Bendigo Hunted is another place a much larger place it's like a warehouse of multiple stalls and that's another place I go to every year if I am in Melbourne um, when I'm in Melbourne and I forgot I completely forgot I apologize to film in Hunted there's another place called Market Fair the same thing stalls that I go to regularly when I'm in Melbourne and again I forgot to film there but at least I got two out of the four <laughs> um, and here are some more doilies and linens just showing you the kinds of things I look for I apologize that it's a bit up and down and all over the place in this particular video there were people walking around I was conscious of not getting them in the video um, and also I needed to be quick in this place I had some my family waiting for me so I felt like I kind of had to rush a little bit here um, but yeah just showing you around as much as I can and I did pick up a few goodies from here as well and yeah like I said later on on my channel I will show you everything that I got I, I went nuts guys because the last time I was in Melbourne I didn't leave the house because of COVID and so I missed out on shopping um, so it was two years since I was able to hit the shops and I was just like I'm gonna make up for last year and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it and because what I do is in Melbourne I buy everything I need for my junk journals or the things that I want um, and then I try not to spend anything unless I absolutely need it uh, for my journals for example like things like washi tape I need that for my spines um, bags I need that for my covers book covers so I'll go buy books at op shops if I need to find book covers for my journals but when I'm in Melbourne this is my chance to kind of splurge a little indulge a little and stock up and then for the rest of the year no more splurging no more no more of that <laughs> unless it's my birthday or like a special occasion <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm just rummaging through here and looking at all the paper ephemera um, seeing what I can find and looking for scrapbooks and ledgers and documents and all that kind of stuff um, it was a bit expensive here so I didn't get too much here uh, unfortunately but I did manage to find some treasures and one of them was this sort of vintage style of scrapbook with some blank pages at the back some vintage lined paper so I love that I love just getting books of blank lined paper that is my favorite supplier to use in journals is just blank paper that is either vintage or has some sort of decorative element to it um, so I'm always looking for that and when I find it I do tend to get it when I can <laughs> um, and so excited to yeah get those boxes when they finally arrive here open up those boxes and show you what I got and then start creating with them I, I'm itching to create but I'm holding off just because I'm waiting for those boxes to come before I start creating my journals again for the year hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye